Why am I a cheat? Because you've lied to the vlog. <laughs> Good morning guys, so it is kind of a rainy and dreary day outside. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see, but it's just super dark and dreary outside today. So it's one of those days where it's just like, do you guys get like that where it's rainy outside, you just get like low energy and you just want to sleep and like snuggle in the bed all day. Like, I don't know, I just get like that when it rains. I just want to do nothing but like lounge on the couch and watch TV or like watch a good movie or snuggle in bed and it's just like I don't want to do anything today so but obviously life must go on so um I'm gonna try and get myself in gear today and get stuff done today I have a decent amount of things done I wanted to photograph the like apartment because like I was talking about the other day I want to do a final home tour for this apartment before we start tearing everything apart to start packing but I don't think today is going to be a good day again because it's raining outside and so the lighting just isn't great and I don't want to rely solely on um, or not natural light, studio lights for the pictures because it just looks a whole lot better if you have some natural light outside. It you know like lights the room a lot nicer. So I think I'm going to hold off on that, but there are a couple other things I needed to do today. First of all, I need to write, I'm trying to make myself write five wedding thank you notes every single day so that no matter what, I am making slow, steady progress on it. If I do more than that, great, but if not, at least I have, you know, five more done. So I need to do that. I might kind of do that just to get that completely out of the way so I don't have to worry about it. I also need to sweep all of my non-carpeted floors today because it is Tuesday and that's what I do on Tuesday. And yeah, so that's kind of what my day is looking like. I also think I have to do some um, wedding picture and video stuff. So I need to like um, work on the edits for my wedding video because George Street has like some sort of program that they use where you can kind of go in and um, say what you want edited of your wedding video. So I need to do that. And I'm just like, I've been putting it off for so long because there's so many edits that I need to make. Like I just, you guys know, I am not pleased with the quality of service that I have received from George Street so yeah there's a lot of edits that need to be made to my video and I just like I'm not looking forward to it so I've been putting it off but it really needs to get done I mean we need to have our wedding video edited and hopefully end up looking nice so <clears throat> I think I'm gonna try and get that done at least some of it and slowly work through oh did I mention it's like an hour and a half long video so yeah that's another reason I'm putting it off because it's just gonna take for freaking ever to do so Oh, I think I'm going to try and get a little bit of that done today, but um, yeah, so I'm going to get into that. Alright, so I just finished sweeping all of my like non-carpeted tile floors in the apartment, and I wanted to share a little cleaning hack with you guys that I've recently started doing, and it's a little, like, it's so simple that some of you might already do it, and you might kind of think like, um, duh, but I only just started doing this like maybe a month or so ago, and I am just like absolutely in love. It makes sweeping so, so much easier. So what I do is I start out obviously by, you know, emptying the room and sweeping all the tile with a broom and this is the broom I have for any of you wondering. I think it's just from Target and it's a super basic one. But then once I've swept everything into a little pile, I just vacuum it up with this little handheld vacuum and it is just like the easiest thing in the world because those little like dust pans that come with brooms, they just never work and you're always, whoops, <laughs> you're always sweeping things like under the dust pan instead of into it and it's just like such a pain in the butt, at least it was for me. So I have been loving using this. It makes it so easy. I just sweep everything into a pile and then vacuum it up like I said and yeah, it makes everything so, so fast. This is the Black & Decker, I don't know if it has like a name. I got it off Amazon and it was relatively inexpensive but I like absolutely love it and it has such, such good suction on it. It's like... It's seriously crazy. I'm so impressed. And the reason I only just started doing this is because for the longest time, Melissa and I didn't have a handheld vacuum. We just had like our regular vacuum and then, you know, like brooms. And this like little investment has been over and beyond worth it. And I don't know why we waited so long to get one, but I am like so, so happy with it. And I'll leave the one that we chose in the description box below if any of you are interested because I really, really like it. It's, again, like I said, has super crazy suction and I've been using it for about a month now and it hasn't like reduced suction or anything and it claims to not ever lose suction. So, I don't know, but yeah, I really like it and I just wanted to share my little hack with you guys. <laughs> Did you find Raccoon? Someone is a little wound up because we went outside and it is raining. I know, it's crazy outside. It's crazy outside. Where's Raccoon? Go get him! Get him! Get Raccoon! Oh yeah!
You're a goofy, goofy goop. What happened? What happened? Did he get you? Did he get you? Go get raccoon. No, you want me to throw him? <laughs> Crazy girl. Okay, so I think I have successfully kind of listed out every single home task that I can think of slash found on Pinterest lists and all over the internet and yada yada. So currently this is kind of what I'm working with. I just listed things out by, you know, daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, you know, etc. And this is what I have. I just, you know, obviously listed out the time frames and what should be done during each time frame. And then the plan is obviously, you know, daily things I get done every day, weekly I do, you know, every week. You know, weekly are the mostly things that I have assigned one task to each day and like that I've been doing like I'm doing now. So for example, I do laundry on Sundays, I fold laundry on Mondays, I sweep on Tuesdays, you know, etc. And then um, bi-weekly, I normally have it kind of linked in with a weekly task. And so, for example, Fridays, I do towel and sheet laundry, but I kind of alternate them since they're bi-weekly instead of weekly tasks. And then monthly, um, I think I'm going to center them around the 15th of each month so that when it hits the 15th, I know that I need to do my monthly tasks. And quarterly, and so quarterly, bi-yearly, and yearly tasks, I'm going to set up based on um, like the first of the month. So quarterly things will be the first of January, April, July, and October. And then bi-yearly, I'm gonna do on the first of January and the first of July. And then yearly, I'm not sure. I think I might uh, individually assign tasks to a yearly time frame and kind of group them in with either the quarterly or bi-yearly cleaning days, if that makes any sense, because things like, um, you know, clean the car makes sense to do sometime in the summer while it's warm. Uh, same with cleaning the gutters and cleaning the patio and the porch. So, and you know, windows. So a lot of those things actually might be lumped in with the April cleaning because spring cleaning. And so, yeah, I might just kind of do a big old clean once a year around April as well as the quarterly tasks. Um, and then it also won't overlap the bi-yearly things which happen on January and July. So then it can kind of spread things out like that. So yeah, that's kind of what I have going on so far. Let me know if, I don't know, let me know how you guys handle all these tasks and how you split things up and organize it and make sure you don't forget anything. Um, now I'm going to try and get a way to organize it all in my bullet journal so that it's, you know, nice and neat and pretty and I, you know, just enjoy bullet journaling and so I want to find a cool way to put it in a spread or, you know, layout or whatever in my bullet journal. So. That's kind of what I'm going to work on next. I was also able to um, get some thank you letters or thank you cards written for the wedding, which I'm really excited about. And I'm hoping to kind of keep up the steam so I can get those knocked out really, really fast. Like I mentioned before, I believe I'm trying to do at least five a day so that I can, you know, just kind of keep a steady flow going even if I don't do a ton at once. So yeah, that's kind of all I've been up to. Other than that, I've been doing a little bit of like financial housekeeping and just making sure everything is in order. And, you know, obviously with buying the house and things kind of get, being crazy and there's a lot of, you know, unusual expenses coming up, obviously. So I just kind of want to make sure everything is, you know, in tip top shape going into all this so that there's no, you know, unexpected surprises. And I wanted to make sure everything is in order and organized. So yeah, that's kind of just what I've been working on today. And I'm going to get back to my cleaning routine and work on getting that into my bullet journal. So Melissa just got home from work and she actually brought dinner with her. <laughs> so we are having, um, she picked up food from Lido Pizza, which is like a pizza place near us that has decent gluten-free pizza, and so she likes to get pizza from there every so often. I'm not a huge, huge fan of their pizza. Like, I don't dislike it, but I don't know. I prefer some of their other stuff. So I got, see, I assume this is mine, a stromboli, right? That's what it's called? Yeah, so I got a stromboli, which looks like that, and it has, like, different meats in it, like salami, I think, and pepperoni, and then layered with cheese, and then it comes with some dipping sauce. And then here is Melissa's... Raven's Ooh, Pizza Box, good. right, doesn't it? And you got sausage pizza? Yep. Num num. Yeah, remember I came home the other day, I was like, it smells like huh? sausage pizza outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ordered sausage pizza. We live down the street from a McCormick Spice Factory. I so hate when it blows over here. It smells so bad. Sometimes it smells really good. No, like it never smells day, good. It smelled like sausage pizza. Ugh. But some days it doesn't smell very good. Yeah, some days it smells really bad. I'm not, I'm not sad to be moving away from that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How was your day? My day was good. Good? Yep. Not too exciting, but good. How was yours? <laughs> Same. Same. 
I've been working on setting up my bullet journal for next month and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Did you pick a movie we're gonna watch? No. Melissa has a free movie rental, and so well, we're like, I don't know. I thinking because I, I want to work on my stuff more, but like, I don't want to like have to focus on a movie. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. It's eight o'clock. Whoops. Hold on. There you go. Merritt has requested gummy worms. So I thought I'd be a lovely wife and go get her some. Also, I have an ulterior, ulterior motive of getting myself ice cream or something, so. <laughs> anyway, I ran out real fast to Target to get her some and to get me something. Gummy worms. I don't know what she wants though. So like, they're sour gummy worms. This is all chocolate. Mm -hmm. I got everything. Why am I a cheat? Because you lied to the vlog. <laughs> I didn't lie to the vlog. Uh -huh. I said Merritt wanted some gummy worms, and I might have an ulterior motive, and might have wanted something for myself as well. You little liar. She wanted to go to the grocery store and waited until I was like, ooh, I saw gummy bears on TV show. I was like, oh, or worms. I could go for some gummy worms. She's like, oh, I could go to the store and get you some. She went for her. You got me both. Merit. I texted Merit. I said... Hardest decision of life. I said regular or sour. And I was like standing there for like a good like minute. Finally I get a text. Wow, that's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so I got her both because you I saw. Was going with regular. Like that's what I was craving. But then she like gave me the choice. I was like, oh, sour does sound good. But I was like, but I want regular too. P.S. I, I got the organic regular ones so I could eat some. <laughs> So and then you saw scared. that I grabbed two boxes of my popsicles. I was going to get the puppy something, but I decided it'd be much better to wait and get her a new house toy. Aw, you want a new house but toy? But for now... And we got you a yard. For now, do you want a treat? You want a treat? Yeah. Come on. Hold on, let me put these away. You guys, apparently I left the freezer open this morning. Looks frozen to me. We're still eating our wedding Sit. cake on our one grand Stay. I think it was like two hours. I think it was fine. Everything was squishy. You you tested the two things you tested were French fries and a hamburger frozen. bun. They feel like a rock if they were frozen. I know, but those are the two things that like are gonna thaw out the fastest. What else would you like me to try it out? There's nothing else to try out in there. We don't freeze stuff. <laughs> Um, Burgers the ice, squishy. the ice was all, it's all melted together. I've been having to like hacksaw ice cubes off throughout the day. It's the all blueberries? Chunk. I think your wedding cake is fine. All right, should we continue watching? We shall. Hello, cutie. Well, your no, that was my dog. throat. <laughs> that was your throat? Uh-huh. Oh, like, like a bubble. Like air bubble uh -huh. oh, that's the weirdest I know. sound. It is. And the weirdest feeling. Yeah. You give me kisses? Thank you. She's so cute. I just like sometimes can't get over how freaking cute she is. I know. She's cute. You're just so freaking cute. I can't take it. I can't take it. She's like, yeah, mom, I don't care. Leave me alone. <laughs> So we started rewatching The Leftovers because a new season came out, season three, right? Mm -hmm. And but we forget like kind of what happened in season one and two. Because we haven't watched it in like years. Well, first years. of all, season two aired, and then they didn't air, they didn't air season three. Yeah. They like waited like a whole year. It was like longer than I thought. It was like weirdly long. It was like two years. Yeah. Like they like didn't do it the next year. 
And then they decided to end the show altogether, and they put out season three, and that was it. Oh, was season three it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And I think they were like, I think that they didn't put out season three right away because they were like deciding Sad whether or not to, to do. keep it a show. Gotcha. It's an interesting show. I really like it. I yeah. hope. They, I hope they like reveal what actually happened. Oh, I do I too. Feel I feel like they're really not going to. I know, you know, right? But yeah. So, anyways, we started rewatching seasons one and two because they're only ten episodes each. It's not going to take that long, and we actually don't have a show that we're watching right now. We don't have anything to watch, so we just said to. Again, we have to have something to watch. Shush. <laughs> so we're rewatching seasons one and two. And then we're going to watch season three. That's the plan. So we watched. Bam. The first episode tonight. And yeah, I also worked on my bullet journal. I started getting things set up for September since we are three days away from two. the first two. Oh, I thought you were going to say from Thursday. No, from uh, the first of September. And so I wanted to start getting things all set up for the month. And so I got a good chunk of that done. Melissa's working on her map stuff. And yeah, it was a good night. We also FaceTimed with some of her friends, which was nice. Showed them the house. Yep. Yep, yep. You have anything you would like to add? They approve. They approve. Do you guys want to see the tedious work I'm doing? <laughs> Here, yeah. So I'm like tracing the outline in Baltimore City and then all like the little areas in between streets so, so that gonna... I can make Merit as a silhouette and I'm going to do uh, It's like, basically going to use a gonna razor cut to cut all the lines. All of these areas and it's just going to, or no, it's going to cut the sh only the streets will the remain. The streets will be left over. The streets will be paper. Yeah. And everything in between streets will be cut out and will, you know, be space. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then... It's going to look so cool. I got ideas for other ones, too. I want to do, like, a pineapple. <laughs> pineapple? A pineapple. You should do a palm. And I want to do, like, the solar system. That'd be cool. Yeah. You should do, like, just, like, const like just space, like, constellations and, like... Yeah, that'd be uh, really cool. Yeah. And I'm going to sell them on Etsy. I'm really excited. She's going to make a big one for the new house. I think we're going to do Towson because that's, like, our hometown. Well, we'll make it as big as I can. Yeah, but not... I mean, I, I mean... Like, I would love to make, like, a big one, but... My silhouette only cuts 12 by 12. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to look really, really cool. And that's what she's been working on this evening and for the last couple of nights. Yep. I've been chomping away on my organic gummy worms. I've been chomping away too and I've eaten too much and made my stomach hurt. I know, right? Me too. And I'm really happy she got the sour ones. Turns out sour was king, but I ate too many of those made my stomach hurt. And so I started eating the healthy gummy worms. <laughs> <laughs> because your stomach hurt? I took a bit of a break and I've just been munching on them every now and then. You're funny. I know. But I think we're going to end things here for the night and head to bed. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps us out. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to follow along with all of our daily vlogs. And you can also turn on the bell to be notified every time I upload a video so you can see <laughs> it right away. Shush. <laughs> and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night.